Okay, so today we'll be doing corrections uh, for the work problems that we did the other day. So turn to page 26. Turn to page 26 and question 11. Alright, question 11. Alright, question 11. N had $198, so can you just spend about 30 seconds looking at the question? This question, the model drawing is actually very, very important. All right, so I'm gonna guide you with the model drawing. In fact, not just for this question, the, all the questions, okay, the model drawing is actually very important. All right, so let's look at question 11. All right, now, first thing first, if you look at the whole question, I guess a lot of information given to you. Anne had $198 more than the sister. After the mother gave Anne $20 and the sister $60, because of that, Anne would have twice as much money as the sister. Now, this type of question is the very important point is you start from the after. Meaning, you know that Anne and the sister eventually Anne will have Two units, the sister will have one unit. Any one of you do not understand why? This is what the question mentioned, right? A has twice as much money as sister. But this happens only when the mother gave N $20. Okay, so what to do is now I want you to take note that this is one unit. This is one unit. This is one unit, this is one unit. Okay? Now, this happens only when the mother gave N $20. Now, since this is an after model, right? Now you have to work backward. If N's mother were to give N $20, you need to return the $20. You agree? That means before that, N actually didn't have two units. N only had one unit plus this part here. Is that okay? Okay, next. How about the sister? How much did the sister receive from the mother? $60. Meaning, initially, did the sister have one unit? No, the sister didn't have one unit. The sister actually had $60 less. Initially had one unit plus this part, the unshaded part. Agree? Sister also had this unshaded part. Okay? You look at the question, there's one more piece of information I did not write it down. What is that? 198, very good. And had $198 more than the sister. Now, where is my 100, uh, that means initially, right? Where is my 198? From here, all the way to here. Because that is the amount of money N had before, more than the system. $198 more. So, if you look at the whole thing, what is one unit then?
Okay. I want every one of you to have a chance to look at it. Do you all see that this one unit, this one unit can be this, can be this, can be this. Any one of this. Alright. But if you see carefully, if I can get this 198, if I get this, okay, plus 20, very good, plus 20. Okay, so again, uh, class, can you, let's look at the white, white board, please. It's very important because if you don't understand, no point copying. So 198 plus 20, meaning this part here, that means the whole thing. Okay. But is that one unit? No. no. That's true. So minus this? 60. 60. I don't want this part. So 198 plus the 20, which is this part, minus the 60. I will get this part here. Is that one unit? No. Yes, this is the one unit. Okay, that is the one unit that I want. So if your model is drawn correctly, you are able to come up with this one unit. That is the most important unit. You know that one unit is actually 158. Now I appreciate that. I know you want to copy, but before you copy, you take a look at how I get up. It's the how that's more important. It's not the what the answer is important. It's not important. Huh? The what is not important. Because I will not be giving you another question with similar context with similar numbers okay so once you know the one you need the question wants to know how much money did n have at first okay so once you know one you need it's very easy really okay n at first will be you need to find this is the amount of money that Anne will have after the mother giving, has given her the $20, right? So I look for... Anyone? How do I continue from here? Minus 150, minus 20? Is it 100? 150 is one unit. Do I minus 20? Why times 2? Ah, N has 2 units. So I times 2 first. 2 units will be 158 times 2. Alright, so 296. Is that the answer? No. no. 296 is 2 units. But the question asks for at first. So at first, 296 minus 20. Why do I minus 20? Because the $20, where did this $20 come from? So I draw the question up at first, so it must return the $20. Alright, so at first, and at $276. Okay, so it's a uh, Sorry, I think I made some mistakes. You can't see it. Sorry? Um, which one? $300. This one? Yeah. And this one? the next one minute try to recall the question again question shall a little bit similar to 11 all right in terms of how you actually work out Right, so I will do
do a question job now. Okay, then let's look at some of the important information given to us. So first thing, Mina and Rohana, they have a total of $338 at first. Okay, the mother gave her another $49 and Rohana spent half of her money. And because of this, they had the same amount. That means this is my after. They had the same amount of money. Alright, so how much is Mina at first? This question is similar because we are going to draw the model from the after. Okay, where's my after? After is they actually had the same amount of money. Mina and Rohana. have the same amount of money. Okay, so eventually this is what happened. Okay? Okay. Now, but this happened only when Mina's mother gave her another $49. Meaning to say now for Mina, I need to add or take away $49. Oh, well, I'm looking backward now. Remember, this happened when only when Mina's mother gave her $49. Okay, so if I want to work, work backward, what should I do? Minus of 49, right? So Mina, I need to minus of 49. That means only that means only when for this $49, okay, maybe I will do it. Do the way that I did just now. This clearer. Okay, meaning to say, before that, Mina only had this unshaded part. After she was given $49, now she has one unit. Okay? Alright, next. Rohana actually spent half of her money. Okay, let me eat. Rohana would spend the half. I mean now she had to take back the half. So if half is one, that means she spent how many units? One unit, right? That means she spent this one unit because this is one out of two, right? So one out of two is half one. So this part is what? She has spent. Okay. Any other information that I, I have not put in? The total. Okay, where is my total? Is it everything? Is it everything? Yes. Okay, any disagreement? If I put 338. Any disagreement? No, no. Ethan, do you think I'm correct? Yeah. Yeah. Because I disagree. Why? I don't know why. Jackie? What do you think? Sorry? Yes. I need to add another point, right? Because initially, the mother did not give Nina the $49. So if you add, 339 whole thing you are wrong. Because before that, this 49 does it exist? No. No. The, only when the mother gave her the 49 dollars. Ah, then, then you know. That's why the whole thing, this 339, 338, right? It's actually this and these two units. Without this 49. Because the mother gave her 49, Mina 49 dollars, you the total you need to add another 49. But do I need, need to pay the 49 in the first place or not? Yes, you know, plus, yes. You know why? 
If I go, if what's the x forty nine, right? You see one unit here. You see one unit here. You see one unit here, right? How many units are there in total? Three. And what is these three units? Three hundred thirty-eight plus forty-nine. That's the reason why this forty-nine is useful. This is the reason why this three, this forty-nine dollars is useful. Because once you add in the forty-nine, the whole thing becomes three units. It's so much easier to work now. Okay. So by now, I hope you can see my way of solving work problems is always a modern drawing and come up with this step. That is where some some of you I don't feel comfortable. You know who you are. You just come up with this step without any keywords. All right now, get a child. Yes. Are you checking my answer? Ah, uh, thank you. All right now. All right now, thank you. You check for me, okay? All right. So from here, the question is, how much did you not have at first? That means you want to know this part here. You want to know this part. Ah, one unit. Very good. Now you can see. 387 divided by 3, which is 189. So is that the answer? No. Yes, I need to minus, right? Minus my 49. Okay, so answer is 80. Alright, so a statement. We now had $80 at first. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, but be very careful, okay? Now, be very careful. When you are drawing model, right? You know that this one unit is one unit, right? But okay, your the length of this and this and this should be the same. Alright? Okay, so if you see how I draw my model, you cannot be drawing this one shorter than this. Cannot. Because this is one unit, this is one unit. They actually carry the same value. In this case, 300 and uh, 129. So in each of these 129, 129, 129, the length must be the same. Alright? So when you are drawing models, be very, very careful. The length of the model, in fact, not just the length, the breadth. Okay? If you look at my working, the breadth, the length, everything must be the same. To prove that, to show that that is actually one unit. One unit, one unit. Okay? Seven go to A or seven go to B? Seven. 
Okay, so, okay, uh, what I say, 7 is 7 over 1. Okay, the 7 will go to A and the 1 will go to B. Okay, so, I mean, in this case, box A will have 7 units, box B will have 1 unit. Okay, good. That one, everyone is clear already. Now, after Joyce transfer 294 bubbles from A to B, as a result, both have the same number. Both have the same number. So how many marble, marbles were there in the one, like, A and S? Okay, alright. So let's come. Sorry about the back quality, guys. Okay, so question 13. A and B. So how many units do I draw for A? Thank you. So A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And B, how many units? Okay, now. 7 with me? No, not everyone. Now, the question say Joyce is going to transfer 294 bubbles. Okay, that one I put it aside first. But because of the transfer, right, both boxes will have the same number. Transfer three. Transfer three units. Is it? Okay. So if I transfer this three, what will happen is that this three will come here. Okay? So once I transfer three, this three unit will be gone, right? Box A will left with one, four. And B will have one, two, three, four. Four, four. Is that same unit? Is it same number? Yes, very good. Meaning this three, this three will be two hundred and four. Alright. Now, if you're not too sure how many transfer, right? Now, ask yourself a very simple question. You guys, I think all of us, right, we are interested in money, right? Yes. Okay, of course. Okay. Let's say, let's say you have one dollar. Your, your brother has seven dollars. Okay, not fair, right? Okay, not fair. Okay, I'm sure you will say not fair. I believe. Okay, so now because you have because you have one dollar and your sister or your brother has seven dollars, so now. Your, your parent will say, okay, let's see, okay, to be fair, both of you must have the same amount of money, okay? So, okay, good, 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 okay? Uh, uh, brother, now you need to give me some money so that we can the same, okay? So, your brother will need to give you some money, okay? So, so then your brother say, oh, how much must you give me? Uh, okay, so one way is... Yes. Okay, one way is you add up the two sum. One plus seven is eight. So to be equal, to be equal, each of us, eight divided by two must be four. Four. Alright? Four by four. Four by four. Okay? So, so it will be one plus seven is two. 1 plus 7 8, so 8 divided by 2 is 4. By right, each of us, you have 4, your brother must have 4. So, you have 4, your brother must give you $3. Okay, so that's one way. So, next time, if you have similar question like this, similar question like this, okay, don't need to shift one, keep testing. It's not try and error, class. What you do is you add up the total and then you divide by two or divide by three, depending on the question. Okay, that is the equal amount of money that you need to have. I'm mindful of your step time. I'm mindful. So let me finish this question and then I'll give you the step time. 
Okay. okay. So, so now, since we know this, so very simple now. You know my three units will be 294. The question wants to know how many bubbles were there in a box at first? At first will be my... How many is it? Seven. My seven, right? So I look for one unit. Bye bye. Three. Okay. So, at first is seven units. Seven ninety-eight times seven. All right, and that will be six hundred and eighty-six. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, those who brought your snacks, please wash your hands. Okay, we're going to have a working snack. Okay, we're working snack time. So, I will go on to section 14.
not too sure whether now this question some of you use guess and check method okay and some of you successfully found the answer but not everyone some of you spend a lot a lot of time all right so i'm going to show you one method you might not have seen Some of you might not have seen uh, this approach. Alright, so if you have not seen it, take a look. As I said, some of you, your parents could have got you using algebra method. Alright, in which I'm not so comfortable, especially I, if I think that you might not understand. So take a look at the method I'm solving. Okay, come. Question 14. The total length of four blue and five yellow banners is 29 meters. The total length of two blue and one yellow is 17. Given that all the banners are the same length, the same color, same length, find the length of the blue banner. Okay, so the banner of the blue. The blue metal, that is what you are supposed to find. Okay? Now, a lot of information. The problem with this question is, the question did not tell you the length of the one yellow panel. They only give you four, four blue and five yellow. Okay? So what you do is, you know that you have to use B to represent blue, Y to represent yellow. Is it okay? Alright, that means I know one, two blue, and one yellow. This whole thing is 17 meters. Okay? Now, I know the four, now this, the next part, please see carefully. Okay, then you have to walk him up and down. What do you want now? Huh? The sound didn't you wash your hand? So next, now see carefully. Do you know how I get this information from? Sarah, do you know where I get this information from? Where? It's from here. Total length of two blue, one yellow is seventeen. I just take down what I want. Okay, next one. Four blue, five yellow. Now, see carefully, huh? Four blue, right? How many blue are there? Two. How many? Two. So four blue, right? One, two, three, four. How many yellow? Huh? How many? Five. Five. So, one, two, that way, three more. One, two, three. What's the total length? Now, plus. Make a guess. Why did I separate my four blue into this? And this, why did I separate my five yellow into this, this, and this three? Mm -hmm. mm. This is the same. Okay, this is seventeen. Do you do you see what I'm trying to, to show you? I can do what we call a grouping method. I can group this into my seventeen. This one. Do you agree? Yes. Okay? Because I know the question has told me two blue, one yellow is 17, so I put that. This is 17, this is 17. Now, class, can you now tell me what about the length of these three yellow? 49 minus. This whole thing is 49, so minus. 70. Minus. Very good. 
Okay, very good. So now it's 15. I have soft one yellow already because if three yellow is 15, you tell what you love. You don't agree. So one yellow banner is 15 divided by 3. Why? Okay? So I know once I know one yellow is 5, this is 5. I can solve my two blue. What's my two blue? 17 minus 5. 17 minus 5 is 12. I can find one blue. One blue is 12 divided by 2. So, the length of the blue banner is 6 meters. Okay? You don't understand? Alright, so this is, I believe maybe some of your people, teacher, who have used this method, you actually you do some grouping. You do some grouping. You group whatever given to you, you group them. And all the extra you put it aside. Alright, okay? Alright, let's stop the video. Thank you. Bye guys! Okay,